Hi guys, my name's Tim Gatt from William Anglis Institute, Sydney. Today I'm going to be cooking kingfish ceviche using Cornwell's apple cider vinegar. We're going to do some pickled vegetables, an avocado puree and some puffed amaranth on top. First I'm going to make my pickling solution using the Cornwell's apple cider vinegar. We're going to add a little bit of salt, okay, some sugar. I'm going to dilute it with a bit of warm water just so it's not too tart and then we can flavour it with whichever aromats you like. And this is going to add a really nice tartness to our dish. We've got some carrot here and some radishes, which I'm going to slice nice and thin. I'm just going to pick some different shapes, some large ones and some small ones, just so they look good on our plate later. The vinegar is starting to penetrate them and they're starting to cook. Okay, so we're going to do the dressing for the kingfish sauce now, using the Cornwell's apple cider vinegar. We've got a little bit of lemon juice, got some olive oil, some freshly cracked pepper, some salt, some Dijon mustard. So we have some lovely chives here, which I'm going to chop. I'm going to do some chervil as well. So I'm just going to give this a stir, guys. Make sure all the flavours have mixed really nicely. And then into our squeezy bottle. All right, so I'm going to get started on the kingfish now. You could use the loin, but the belly's nice and fatty and quite perfect for what we are doing today. So I'm going to take the skin off. You want to start at the thinnest part. Using a nice, long, flexible knife makes it easier. So we're just going to cut off the bloodline here. And then we're going to dice the remainder of our fish. And see how creamy and beautiful that is. I'm going to dice up an echelot. We're just going to add a nice bite to the dish and that's just going to sit in the fridge for a few minutes until we are ready to plate. So I'm going to make the creme fraiche puree now which is going with our kingfish. In here we are going to put our creme fraiche. I'm going to be letting it down with a little bit of milk, a bit of oil just to make it nice and creamy, a bit of salt, a bit of cracked pepper. Let's blend that up into a squeezy bottle. Could use a piping bag if you like. So now we're going to start our avocado and wasabi puree for the kingfish. Okay, so I've got one here. Just going to scoop it out. I have some olive oil here, some milk. We're going to add some wasabi for a little bit of heat, a little bit of lemon juice. That'll stop it from going brown as well. Don't need too much pepper. We do need some salt though. And now we have our avocado and wasabi puree in our squeezy bottle, ready for service. So now we're going to puff our amaranth for the garnish for our kingfish dish. Once our pan heats up, we're going to add them in and you'll see them pop like popcorn. I'm just going to pour these inside the drum sieve and the small ones which haven't puffed will fall through. So we have our dressing here that we made. We want to add that to our kingfish to marinate it. All right, time for plating now. What I have here is a lovely ring mold. I'm going to put my kingfish ceviche in the bottom. I'm going to sprinkle the top of it with the puffed amaranth, some of the chives that we chopped earlier. And now we pray. Finish it with a bit of our creme fraiche of the avocado and wasabi puree that we made. Some of our lovely pickled vegetables, some nasturtium flowers. So there you have it guys, that's our kingfish dish. I think it was a really great dish because the creaminess of the fish working with the acidity of the vegetables plates really well and it tastes great as well. Mm -hmm.